That's five badges, baby! Woo! Winona, here we come. And guess what? I have a parasect, baby. I'm coming for you. The only other quillfish we can get now explode. Right? That's the issue now. Okay. Oh, I forgot to nickname cast form. That's fine. We'll go uh, nickname it later. Focus band crits. Nice. I think it's still a dawn fin switch. Um, <clears throat> got a new if job, ice shard go kills, I should go for it here. For quite a while. How's the run going this time? Really good. Oh, ice shard doesn't kill. It might. It's pretty unlikely. I think he would have to be at like 14 HP. This doesn't look like 14 HP to me. Okay. This is Surf. This is Thunderbolt. This is Giga Drain. This is Rock Slide. This is Sky Attack. That's a win. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, hold on. Roxanne calls. That. Block her ass and go mess up the E4. You got this. Flash cannon, please. BTW. Oh, that's fine. I think spikes is fine. There we go. Okay. Should always be EQ. I could stay in for a turn. The thing is, that one, this messes up my order if I actually kill it. Like if I crit here. And two. One Earthquake might get me into AP range. Is that true? Hold on. If that's not true, I think I'm just going to go for it here. Because I think worst case, this just baits Peli, right? No, this baits Altaria, which is fine. So yeah, okay, he can never AP if he Earthquakes here. I'm going to stay in for a turn. Nice. That's so good. Um, this was supposed supposed to be Pelly. Oh. Oh, because it has a flying move. I mean, that's fine. Um. Ish. <sighs> that's actually not great. So it's Sky Attack or D-Dance here. Um. Accounting for Spikes damage. Can I go Dawn Fan? I take 21 from Spikes. 52 from Recoil. I could go through Kabutops. Yeah, Kabutops is the play. Okay, and now it's Earthquake. And now I should never die. Easy. Okay. This can never be, can this be Ice Beam? I think this can be Ice Beam, so I wanna pivot through Tentacruel. I mean, I, I, there's no reason not to pivot through Tentacruel, basically, right? There we go. Okay, very good. Got the quick claw. Is he gonna get the crit?
Okay. So. This is Claydol, right? Yeah. Is this completely random move? This is Earthquake or Rock Slide or Psychic. I think I just have to hard sizzle, right? Okay. That's still crit range, right? Nope, it's actually not. I think I Steel Wing here for the potential defense boost. There's no reason not to. Steel Wing is 100 accuracy in this game. And it always kills here. Jan started watching back when you were starting Ek. Your stream has got me back into Pokemon. Let's go run 151. This is the one. I thought this would be Dusclops. This is a little bit awkward. So this is Surf or Thunderbolt. Ugh. I think I have to take the 50-50 and go cash. It could also be... Confuse Ray, right? I can't really go knock tell him. I, I, the only other place to sack Magmar, but I don't really think that's an, the thing. Is if he does surf, I, I have to hard. I have to hard cash. It's unfortunate, but. Um, yeah, he has a pretty good crit range here, but I, I, he, he can. The thing is, he can confuse Ray too, I, and I can't really play around it. I have to EQ here. <laughs> please, 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 please. Okay. All right, so I am dead to a ten percent, about a ten percent roll here. Um, if I miss with Quick Claw, I think I can take this out with something else. So Noctowl actually lives Surf into Thunderbolt. I'm not really sure how exactly. If Noctowl does die here, I'm not actually sure how I beat Dusclops. Um. I outspeed, but he's Bright Powder, so if he gets a Bright Powder proc and then gets a Surf High Roll, I lose my Whiz Cash, which is massive, because I don't have a VA Lantern. I already took a huge risk last turn. Let's see if... So does Nightshade always kill? So I Earthquake this, right? So I did minimum 144, which means he can be at maximum at 56, which is one above. This does not look like I min-rolled it. I'll ruler it, just in case, I guess. This is at 22%. Yeah, this is definitely 100% 100 dead to Nightshade. I guess I could get unlucky here and he rolls Confuse Ray. Okay. But I mean, that's fine. I just switch back to Whiskash then. Easy. I should bring out Clops, right? Which is kind of perfect. This is either Brick Brick or Toxic. Or protect, most likely protect, right? Yeah. 
All right. So this is just stall. Um, I think this is Torkoal, right? No, because he could Toxic. And then I'm f I think I have to go Cruel. Does Saiyan mean I get a hit in on Scyther? Not if I want to play around a crit. Does Stangin bring me into quick attack range? Ooh, it can. I think that's worth it. Because I can get a guaranteed, like, not guaranteed, but I can get an aerial ace off here. If I lose an Octal to crit, so be it, but this greatly reduces my chances of, um, Torkoal getting by like air slash flinches plus bright powder. So I think I stay in for a turn here. Okay, that's unfortunately not quick attack range. Yeah, definitely not after citrus berry. Please. Please, for the love of God. It's okay, he can't crit me. Thank God. Yeah, going for that air lace with an Octal was definitely the play. Whew. Hey January, why did the whale across the ocean? To get to the other tide, Pokemon no. Good one. Let me recalc this real quick. So this is double edge, right? So I have to go through Scizor, which I think is fine. I'm going into this. Am I okay here? Seems like a lot of damage. Oh wait, he took recoil though. So my head smash is gonna do less recoil on me. So I think I should be fine. He took 12 recoil and he's gonna take more. Yeah, yeah, we can always head smash here. We never die. Okay. Hello, it me. Okay. Hyper beam. Re oh, I didn't teach fly. Can I facade this? I don't think I can facade this. Does Scizor take one? Yeah, something's dying here. Oh, do I really have to sack my Pidgeot? I think it's the only way, right? I think I actually lose two Pokemon here. That's so bad, dude. Oh my god, dude. Okay, my Swallow at speeds though, right? No, it's just Pidgeot sack and then Swallow facades twice. It doesn't even matter what I do this turn, right? Oh, f this Pidgeot was so good on Matt too. Oh man. Kabutops absolutely does not tank one more. Could I get Steel Wing Defense Rays? Not that that would matter. That wouldn't even save me. Even if someone tanks a hyper beam, it doesn't matter. Heat wave burn. Uh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Pidgeot. <sighs> That's so f tilting. That Pidgeot was so f***ing good for Matt, too. Oh. It was your fault, to be honest. Yeah, that's why I'm tilted. 
This was an insane Pidgeot. This would have it would have one shot his Machamp and his Executor. People clap. <sighs> Oops. Nice. No quick claw. Never punished. Um, this is always fun. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh. Now he recovers for sure, huh? I think this should be fine. I don't think I take an, taking an additional one doesn't even really matter here. Okay. Okay, yeah, perfect. 109. So this is always bounce. There is a like the chance for a hydro pump crit isn't insanely low. But like the the upside of this switch is so insane. Okay, we're good. Nice. So this is Earthquake or Flamethrower. Aw, oh, this needed to be Rostberry, I think. This is a 5% to get f Nice, didn't get f Okay. Oh, sh actually, I do an additional switch, so he gets additional recovery. So I'm 6% off in my calc. I, I guess I just, hold on, I guess I just attack again. Okay, how much HP is he at? Let's, let's bring out the ruler. Maybe this was enough. Two point seven. He's at dead center 60%, which means he'll be at 72 when I come in with Salamence. Which means I have a chance not to kill. I think I have to waterfall once here. I think I just have to take the Salamence range. If he really is at 70%, he's at 126. Sorry, he'll be at 72 after the two switches. This is all a pretty high estimate too. He might be one HP lower than this, if anything. 87% chance to kill after that. And then he needs to crit to actually do anything to me. Okay. I was hoping for Earthquake or Flamethrower there. If this is where we're at, I have to switch. He was one in three to Dragon Claw there. Um, pretty sure this is Dugong. Yeah. Okay. No Kingdra is a problem. Pretty sure this is always Hydro Pump. I want to try to get an Ice Beam out of this. I don't think I can. Oh, this is so bad.
Miss. Miss is so good here. So this is Dragon Breath, Ice Beam, or Hydro Pump. I think I pretty much have to hit two bounces. I'm actually faster. Wait, why? Wait, what? That para is insane. Wait, Calc says I'm slower. I'm 97. I think this Kingdra speed in the Calc is just wrong. I'm 97 with badge boost that's 106. And this Kingdra is supposed to be 115. Oh, the, the Calc has the wrong Kingdra, I think. Or I, I put it in wrong. I think I just... I accidentally made the Kingdra level 55, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot better. His best roll is Ice Beam. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Now that's what I call punk. Okay. Easy. What I'm talking about, baby. Built different. Whew. That was insanely scary. I had a one in um a one in fifty basically to lose my mints there. Alright, cool. Winona time. I don't think I have to do much theory crafting here. I think I just play How it out, right? Out? Please apply order in the chat. Alright. Um trans rights. Um happy pride. Don't be cringe. And uh, not wanting to date trans people is not inherently necessarily transphobic, but it should probably cause you to do a little bit of introspection and understand why, and it could be transphobic. It could absolutely be for transphobic reasons. People telling you to introspect about stuff like that makes you angry. I highly recommend that you reevaluate re the way that you see the world. All right, anyway. Well, welcome back for 45 months real time. I love you. I'm not forgetting anything, right? I think I can just send it here. Hey, if you're watching on the Daily Channel, make sure that you subscribe um, and leave a like and then also leave a comment about what your favorite kind of ground type Pokemon is. Well, leave a comment about that. All right, let's do it. Is it worth giving up your 102 encounter for a Carvana to help your VA Lantern odds later? Probably not. Alright, we head smash the Zapdos. Both Zapdos and Aerodactyl want to attack Parasect with flying type attacks because they both see a kill on it, and neither of them sees a kill on Golem, which means we switch into Rhydon. Could you imagine how much harder this fight would be if Zapdos had HP Grass? <laughs> we switch to Rhydon here because we want to bait the... Uh, Flygon when Zapdos dies. I just almost head smashed the Aerodactyl. I'm gonna do it one more time. Head smash Zapdos, switch to go uh, right on. Nice crit. Completely fine though. Let's go. Very easy. Easy win. So this should probably be Giga Drain on either slot from Flygon. Um, I know it can Earthquake for the Golem kill. Um, what does the range look like on Rhydon? Yeah, it's it's just either slot. It doesn't matter which slot I go into Parasect and which slot I go into um, Salamence, right? Like, there's literally no difference. It's equally likely to Giga Drain either slot, and if it Earthquakes, it doesn't matter. So, Mence and Parasect on the Giga Drain slash Earthquakes. Okay, this is important. What move do we use on Flygon here? Because we don't want to crit it. Uh, we don't want to crit kill it. Um, Air Slash, however, is a range to crit kill. So it's a little. It sucks a little bit. Um, 
But I think I have to risk critting here with air slash. Thank you for the Pride Month shout out. You got this. Um, they both earthquake. That's pretty good for me. Air Slash is always a crit kill because my Salamence's attack is too high. I can't crunch into Dragon Claw. It never kills. Well, it can kill, but it's kind of unlikely. Um, yeah, I just have to risk it here, unfortunately. So this is Air Slash on this. Flygon wants to Flamethrower the Parasect, and Aerodactyl wants to Hidden Power Flying it. So it's a perfect opportunity to go to my Cabo Tops. Let's get this bread. If he crits here, it's kind of bad, but it's still winnable. It's actually not that terrible, to be honest. We're battle armor here, so we can't get crit, and we're raw spirit in case Flygon wants to burn us. Okay. Nice! Alright. So now we kill this, and then we Rock Tomb this slot. It's either Moltres, which is going to survive, which is kind of good for us, or it's Articuno, which is probably going to die. But even if Articuno survives, it's good for us, too. Um, I'm pretty sure my Kabutops is slower than my Mens, right? <laughs> this would be a pretty big mess up. Yeah, no, we're fine. Okay. Okay, that's totally cool. Totally cool. Totally fine. It's a lot of damage, though. Wait, am I actually dead? Ooh. Hold on. I'm Citrus Berry. I'm sh I should be fine here, but... It's a lot of damage. Wait, no, I'm Rost. This is minus one attack, right? Okay, it's Articuno. Didn't get the kill. It's fine, though. Um. Okay, we're barely out of the highest rock uh, earthquake range. We live by two. So this is just Rock Slide and then Rock Tomb the incoming Moltres. So it's Rock Slide and Rock Tomb. And then next turn I can just switch out Kabu. Look at that rock slide damage on arrow for my max attack, man. Holy sh- what? Wait. Oh, sh That's not Moltres. Okay. Both Articuna. So, unfortunately, Aerodactyl is faster. So, he's going to go for the kill on Kabutops here. Uh, the Rock Tomb minus attack is really nice. I mean, yeah, I just... It's fine. I just Rock Slide. This could be Ancient Power, right? I, th I think it's... It's Parasect? No, it has to be Scizor. Hold on. One second. I'm a little bit afraid of crit on Scizor. So this can be Ancient Power or Earthquake. Um, yeah, I should be fine with crits on Scizor. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Scizor. Okay, so Rock Slide. Scizor Switch. Because Crobat is slower than Mens here. And it and Salamence now or I'm sorry. Um Scizor now baits 
that is a crit, but that's fine. Okay, so we have to figure out what scissor baits from Moltres now. Oh my god, that didn't kill! This is Giga Drain though, right? This is random move. I think I might lose Scizor here. Level up is obviously clutch. Okay, we're fine. Okay, so Moltres... 63. Ooh, I'm actually 93. So this is overheat or sky attack exactly. On Scizor. So we just go right on. Uh, the fact that that didn't kill Crobat is a little bit unfortunate, but... Should still be fine here. Any flinchers? Okay, we're good. We win. <sighs> Man, it would have been the perfect Winona split. <sighs> if I wasn't such a dumbass. Even the, like, Hitmonchan death was okay, but that fly... That's whatever, man. <sighs> this would feel so sweet. This could have been a zero death Winona split, which is insane. Whatever, man. <sighs> One of my favorite split of the game. That's all that matters. Wait. That was one badge too many. There you go.